Hi, this is Kent Sovereign, State Director of AARP in Iowa. Thanks for tuning in. With me is Chris Gross, who is with the Insurance Divisions, and I hope I get this right, Senior Health Insurance Information Program, SHIP. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chris, we just finished a telephone town hall meeting where we reached out, had more than 21,000 of our AARP members on the line and left uh, messages for another 26,000 on top of that and we're in this period of open enrollment for Medicare recipients those 65 plus but first tell us about a little bit about SHIP what does SHIP do and how does it help folks who are the, in the 65 plus category okay well SHIP is a service of the state of Iowa we're part of the Iowa Insurance Division and we help anyone on Medicare so it's people 65 and older plus those under 65 who are eligible for Medicare and we help them with questions they have about Medicare and health insurance any problems they're having we work through a network of counselors around the state and they work through local organizations we have over 120 organizations around the state who agree to sponsorship in their community provided as a community service and then our counselors work through them and they're available to help people at no cost um, it's confidential and the information we provide is objective. We don't try and sell anything or promote anything. So any questions about Medicare, eligibility, enrollment, benefits, insurance related to Medicare, retiree benefits, Medicaid, our counselors are there to help you. And if you have a family member, we work a lot with family members who are helping somebody who's on Medicare. We just want to help folks who have questions about Medicare. So you're not selling anything, you're giving objective information, and it's free of charge. And I'll bet there's an 800 number or a website that they can go to. Yes, there is. Our 800 number is 1-800-351-4664. And our website is www.the, the word T-H-E, right, R-I-G-H-T, call, C-A-L-L, -L, and then the whole word Iowa, Iowa W-A, dot gov. So the www.therightcalliowa.gov. And if you're a... Uh, mailbox is like mine it's an open enrollment period and it's just being filled uh, with Medicare supplement Medicare this Medicare that uh, policy and and request and information so much so that it's almost mind numbing and uh, uh, some of it from AARP some of it from a lot of other organizations as well or at least our partners in so tell us uh, the, what is this open enrollment period okay well every year from October 15th through December 7th is a Medicare open enrollment period and that's a time when you can choose how you want to get your Medicare coverage do you want to get it through original Medicare do you want to get it through what's called Medicare Advantage plans which are an alternative way to get your Medicare benefits and what do you want to do about drug coverage under Medicare? And during these nine to ten weeks, you have an opportunity to see what is being offered, make a decision, enroll in what you want to be involved with for the next year. By December 7th, you need to make that decision because whatever you're in on December 7th is what you're going to be in January 1st and for most of the, or all of the next year. There are a few exceptions to that. There's always exceptions. But by and large, you have this time period to make a decision. And SHIP counselors are available to help people look at those options, do comparisons of drug coverage. And I think an important message is that even if you're happy with what you have, you don't just sit complacently and, and not do take a look again. Because the plans have annual contracts with Medicare. They can change their premiums, their deductibles, the drugs they cover, their co-payments, their benefits every year. And if you don't take a look, you might be surprised January 1st to find that what you thought you had, you don't have. So it's a good idea every year during the open enrollment period, even if you're satisfied and happy with your plan because the rules change, the plans change, the coverage change, the deductible change, is to do this review. And an easy way to help you do that is to contact SHIP. And once again, the number it's for SHIP? 800-351. Four, six, six, four. Very quickly, there's also this issue of Medicare fraud and Medicare abuse. Is SHIP helpful at all, or the insurance division helpful at all in federating that sort of thing out? Yes. If you have any questions at all about whether somebody who's approaching you is legitimate, if they're um, trying to convince you to make a change and you're not sure that that's really legitimate or you want to, please call us. Um, there are people right now who are trying, especially this open enrollment period, because there's so many changes, and people try and take advantage of that. 
Um, you should never give out your personal information, your Medicare number, your Social Security number, um, bank account information, unless you've initiated the call or you're dealing with somebody you know and trust. So if somebody's asking you for that information, just you know, calling you, you should never give that information. And if you have any questions about a letter you've received, whether it's legitimate, a call, please call us. We work at the Iowa Insurance Division, and if it's related to insurance products, they will also want to look into it. That's great. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. One last reminder is we just finished this call on Medicare open enrollment, changes in Medicare benefits, and how all of that uh, might affect you. You can listen in to an enti that entire call by visiting the AARP Iowa website at www.aarp.org slash IA and uh, you can there find uh, uh, the, the entire call and listen to it as if you were on the call live. Again, Chris, thank you so much for being a partner with us. Uh, thanks to the Iowa Insurance Division, and thank you for tuning in.